All uh, right. In the meantime, this homeowner probe is the backdrop for pretty much everything here. The, the more likely it looks that it's wrapped up soon, the better it looks for the president. That's the, you know, the, the old saw here. Uh, but is it panning out? To New York City Councilman Artie Whip, Joe Borelli, National Review contributing editor DeRoy Murdoch, and last but not least, Deidre Bolton. Deidre, this could be wrapping up soon, but is the president complicating it? I think so. And there's tons of good news. And we talk about this Absolutely. even in the markets, fundamentals. I was even looking through state budgets that are getting, they have surpluses, you know, even in the Midwest, Minnesota, Utah, Connecticut of all places. And I think all of these good things. And they're crediting that, or at least the administration yeah. has been to all the revenue from these tax yes, cuts. There's so. more people working. There's more people earning higher wages. That's actually helping out state budgets. And when was the last time we heard anything really positive about state budgets? So there are so many other things that I feel like could be the talking points of this administration right now. And to your point, I mean, that was the biggest, that is the administration's biggest accomplishment, at least as far as the markets sure. and the economy goes. So in my mind, that's what you would want people talking about, especially going. But they're right. The president is violating that by talking about this. And I can understand he's frustrated with this. He says it's a witch hunt, et cetera, et cetera. But is it your sense that it is coming, this frenetic activity, whatever you want to make of it, is that it is coming to some sort of a, a you know, closure? I'd like to think so, but I tend to doubt it. I think the ability, ability to distract uh, Donald Trump and all of us from his agenda is not a bug of the Mueller probe. I think it's a feature. I think that's the whole idea. You've got a lot of people who are pro-Democrat, pro-Hillary, some people who maxed out to Hillary Clinton. A brand new uh, addition to the team uh, just last week turns out he's another Hillary donor. He used to work for John Kerry, worked for Jesse Jackson Jr. This is not a fair and balanced probe. This is a very anti-Trump probe. Very so whatever comes it. of it is not going to be friendly to him. Yet. I think the whole idea here is to keep it going as long as possible and keep us talking about this rather than 3.9% unemployment, economic growth, the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Uh, keep Trump distracted, keep us all off balance, and hope that, and uh, assist the Democrats in getting back in in November. I think that's the exact purpose of this probe. Well, if he's right, then they're playing him like a fiddle, right? Well, I, I think he's right to some extent. I mean, th the focus is definitely on keeping the, this witch hunt going. But as more people are starting to pick up on the fact that Trump is saying, Giuliani's been out there saying, that this is a witch hunt, this has spun off the rails, that's why you're seeing Trump getting his highest poll numbers year to date. People just aren't paying attention. Every time you peel back the onion of, of, of this Mueller probe, like you pointed out, it just seems like there's more bias, uh, more anti-Trump agenda, uh, and less about Russia. I mean, you had Michael Caputo on just earlier. I mean, how much more clear can any one be that he was not questioned uh, and, and, and investigated on Russian collusion. Yeah, he said that came up again and again, things having nothing to do with collusion or anyone named Trump, which was kind of interesting. But having said that, Dieter, I mean, um, just taking the, the big aerial view of the markets here, I would assume they'd rather have this behind them because the uncertainty of it, of you know, is, is a nightmare. Would that still stick if whatever happens with this doesn't involve Donald Trump to prove that he was a target? <laughs> but that there's a lot of malfeasance or whatever else lower in his administration. I, I'm with you. The quicker that this can all become just done and dusted and put aside, the better for investors. I mean, we have so much to brag about, right? Nine-year run of bull markets. We have a global economy that's growing, that's helping us out. To your point, we have that 3.9% that you haven't seen it that low since the year 2000. I mean, there's so many things that are you working. You weren't even born. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, I think for every single investor, this just would take one X factor off the table and allow people to fun focus on fundamentals. We also had an amazing earnings season. No, you're right. You know, Zebra, do you think on the surface, though, that is the case that I talk to a lot of people who say, boy, I do see the tax cut or I see things that, are, and they're not, I don't know if they're answering these polls, pollsters, but that underneath there might be more to that than we let on. Maybe a reason why a lot of Republican you know, pollsters and a lot of the, the president's team say pound the tax cuts, pound the tax cuts. Why Mitch McConnell is saying pound the tax cuts. Are they missing something? Are they on something? What? Well, no, they are onto something. I think the Republicans need to do an even better job of selling this tax cut and its benefits. The fact that something like 80, 90 percent of households are going to see some Or these states from this. that are enjoying revenue. The states they that are say. seeing a, a green, a black ink rather than red ink. Uh, these amazing bonuses from 500 plus companies are providing better benefits, bonuses, and so on. Uh, and yet we keep coming back to this nonsense. I mean, in the same time that Mueller has found zero about Russian collusion, the equivalent uh, time period over the Watergate uh, scandal, you you had uh, all the burglars, E. Howard Hunt, G. Gordon Liddy, John Dean, all these other folks convicted. Those guys found something because there was a scandal there. Uh, Mueller's found nothing because there's no scandal here. All right, Joe, does it worry you with that, to that point? These investigations go wildly off course, so I don't, I'm not smart enough to know where, how this ultimately ends, but it 
to your point and what you picked up on from Caputo, it's not on collusion. So it's, it's veered into other areas. What's the fallout? Right. I mean, if, if this ends up with nothing more than a non-disclosure agreement uh, and, and Michael Cohen's, you know, fan, fantasy taxi medallion scandal or whatever the case may be, <laughs> there will not only be not just this going away, I think there will be a pendulum swinging back the other way. But you know Republicans New York on, politics on the very well. well. Yeah. You know New York politics very well. And we were talking a little bit about the challenge, the party challenge that, uh, you know, Governor Cuomo faces here. That's surprisingly strong. Is that it's it's left versus extreme left, and I'm wondering if that's playing out nationally. Is it playing out nationally? Yeah, I mean, I suppose it is because you look at the the, the PA uh, race with Connor Lamb. I mean, right. you have this candidate who is everything that the National Democratic Party does not want in a candidate for public office, and but yet won. he's the one uh, right. that won. So uh, I, I think you do have that playing out nationally to some degree. Uh, but but just back to the point uh, of, of of Trump. This is something that the American public has finally stopped paying attention to. And if you look at some of the sub-polling, some of the sub-questions on some of these polls, Democrats are saying the tax cuts are working 10 percent more, you know, 15 percent more in some of the polls. They're, they're liking Trump on foreign policy. That's what people are actually turning to now. Could the consensus be wildly wrong? Here. Everyone's saying this blue wave, right? <laughs> yeah, it's wildly wrong. I, I think a lot of the, I think the uh, potential for the Democrats to take over is really a function of uh, whether the GOP stands up and defends itself and, and goes on offense, I should say, or whether they continue to think, oh my God, we're going to lose. Let's crawl under ta or under the tables and, and, and under a desk in the fetal position. They have a very positive message to sell, and I see a lot of them saying, well, I guess we're going to lose, so let's start, you know, But everyone says, now. you know, the tax cuts staying, the benefit isn't there, I mean, surely we're not going to go out and see Republicans voting. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, the vibes don't match some other vibes. And I think this data coming in from the state's budgets, I mean, to me, that is a very, that's an objective piece of data, right? That's not really something that is an opinion. I mean, I, I made voters notes. seize on that, appreciate that, know that? I, I don't know, but... Educated. Yeah, I mean, Minnesota, uh, 330 million. Connecticut is over a billion. Uh, Utah is over 500 million. I mean, those are real numbers. In New York, the, in, in New York the governor's trying to hide it. He was originally proposing a <laughs> billion dollars of new revenue raising, you know, schemes, otherwise known as taxes. But they found, magically, another $750 million <laughs> in income tax receipts and sales tax receipts. The that? highest sales tax in four years. Wow. And suddenly, no need for new taxes. But, Joe, could I ask you, you're a credit. close friend of the president. He admires you, likes you, and all that stuff. So you're also a friend who could tell him, you know, just be blunt with him. Should he shut up about the Mueller case and just focus on all this? Look, stuff? As much as I appreciate some of his, you know, James Joyce-like stream of conscious <laughs> tweeting, uh, I think there are times when, uh, you know, the, the delete button would be better than the send button. Although okay. I think Rudy Giuliani was supposed to play part of that role, but right. somehow oh, did a lot of press. Yeah, a lot. Maybe not what was intended. Yeah. Guys, thank you all very, very much.